CalSTAR is a nonprofit organization working nationally and internationally to develop clean and efficient transportation solutions. CalSTAR is North America's leading consortium on advanced transportation technologies. Together with our more than 300 members and other partners, we're working to reduce transportation emissions by 40% below 1990 levels by 2030. CalSTAR works across a variety of initiative areas to accelerate the growth of the clean transportation industry. The Clean Mobility Options Program is the flagship of our innovative mobility work, and we administer this program in partnership with the Shared Use Mobility Center and CivicWell. Clean Mobility Options empowers under-resourced and underrepresented communities to develop their own locally tailored solutions to address their unique needs. This program is one that encompasses both needs assessment, so it gives them the opportunity to identify what their community is seeking and if a shared mobility solution will address it, and also funding to implement that solution and sustain it over multiple years of operations. The Chula Vista Community Shuttle Program is a door-to-door -door free shuttle service that's all electric. It's a fleet of six all electric shuttles, which is five sedans and one ADA vehicle that serves seniors in our community, 55 and over, and essentially takes them to anywhere they want to go. This program is funded through a grant program, uh, through the Clean Mobility Options. We got a $1 million grant, and then we also received another million dollar grant through a local partnership. One of my favorite uses of the shuttle is that it's on my time frame that I'm important and I have that independence to come and go as I wish. The access to the shuttle has improved my life immensely. I'm able to get out more, have groups of friends go out and do things. It's, it's a real plus, it's a real plus. The shuttles are 100% uh, electric vehicles. As the Chief Sustainability Officer, one of our main things for the city of Chula Vista is to ensure that we're doing all we can to reduce greenhouse gases. So having a fleet of all electric vehicles uh, being able to provide services is also helping us be able to achieve some of our goals around uh, reducing greenhouse gases and encouraging the use of electric vehicles uh, across our city. In the San Diego Unified School District uh, uh, first received the Clean Mobility Grant in early 2020. Uh, the purpose of the grant was initially to reduce the carbon footprint for the Transportation Department to ensure that we have uh, zero emission vehicles out there picking up the school children. The impacts on this grant, you know, we were able to purchase uh, some electric buses, 13 total, that I feel that the district didn't have the funds to purchase. We were able to provide staff and students uh, e-bikes. When we first got the e-bikes to our facility, everybody wanted one. I feel that this is a great initiative to get people out there on an e-bike, getting some exercise, getting some you know, fresh air and alleviating them using their vehicles. Also, some of the equipment that we received, it actually replaced a lot of aging uh, equipment in our custodial and our landscape department. We're feeling that the battery time on these devices kind of surpasses the, the fuel type. Basically, they just switch a, a battery pack out and they can continue their job. A program like Clean Mobility Options brings together a diverse set of stakeholders. It starts with the local communities, either public agencies, community organizations, or tribal governments, and in partnership with their community members, with mobility providers, and with those that will be ultimately using the service, the solutions can be successful for the long term. The Urban Collaborative Project, it's a 501c3, and it's a community benefit organization that focuses on health disparities in southeastern San Diego. We conducted our needs assessment in the middle of 2021. It's the kind of community that everyone knew needed resources and services, but this was the first time we were ever able to capture the information from the residents and not just the advocates and get into the neighborhoods to find out what they wanted. My relationship with the Urban Collaborative has been working with community members. The Urban Collaborative brought officials from the city, from MTS, and um, other county officials as well uh, to see how we could self-advocate and how we could ask for things and potentially demand the things that we need in our community. It's just like started a movement, and, and I'm not being flippant with it. People are, are actually aware of the type of improvements they need, the infrastructure. The community had absolutely no type of knowledge, interest, or um, even focus on, on these things prior to the assessment. Other states and regions should consider a program like Clean Mobility Options 
to provide the framework for their communities that are underrepresented and under-resourced to also address their specific needs and deploy shared clean mobility options. This is a very exciting time to be working in clean mobility. We're seeing many solutions that are addressing the inequities that have historically been unaddressed. The future of mobility is one that is safer for its users, is affordable, is equitable in its access, and reduces transportation emissions.